Hi there! Today we're going to review the 10 best JavaScript frameworks. Keep watching if you're still considering which one you want to master. A JavaScript framework is a pre-written collection of libraries, tools, and conventions that provides an organized approach to building web applications. It offers a foundation and guidelines for developers to streamline any software development process and handle common tasks efficiently. A framework typically comprises complex features including data management, user interface components, and routing. Though JavaScript frameworks can be used for building back-end architecture, they're primarily helpful for front-end web development. JavaScript frameworks offer pre-tested tools for building scalable and interactive web applications. Hence, developers can save time and effort by utilizing pre-built functionalities and focusing on building specific application logic. That's why many modern companies use JavaScript frameworks for an extra advantage in pursuing a front-end developer career. Now that you know what a JavaScript framework is all about, remember to focus on one or two of them rather than learning multiple frameworks at once. With that in mind, let's review the top 10 JavaScript frameworks to help you choose which one you want to master. Vue is a JavaScript framework used for building web app-based user interface designs. It follows the MVVM architectural pattern and highlights component-based development. One of Vue's strong points is its versatility. You can use it to create single-page applications or integrate it with existing projects. Using Vue, developers can gradually introduce components without a complete data rewrite. Moreover, it's also excellent for building an interactive user interface thanks to its reactive data binding and capable directives. This JavaScript framework is accessible for beginners and experienced developers alike, as everyone can use its clear documentation and active community support. Vue offers excellent performance thanks to its efficient rendering system which utilizes a virtual DOM and intelligent update tracking. However, Vue is still not as widely adopted as other frameworks, so finding specific resources or expertise can be challenging. Additionally, while Vue provides a comprehensive ecosystem, it might have different tools and ready-made solutions than other frameworks. Angular is an open-source JavaScript framework written in TypeScript developed by Google. Its primary purpose is to create single-page applications using the MVC architectural pattern. As a framework, Angular provides a standard structure for developers to work with. It offers powerful two-way data binding, automatically synchronizing data between the model and the view, so developers don't need to perform updates manually. Angular also provides depending injection, enabling modular and reusable code components. Plus, it's suitable for complex application development by providing routing, form validation, and animation support. Its large ecosystem of libraries and modules also further enhances its capabilities. Angular offers a well-defined structure, promoting code maintainability and testability. Regarding workflow, Angular offers features such as declarative templates and built-in unit testing support, contributing to efficient app development. As Angular is powered by Google, it has a strong community support and extensive documentation. That said, Angular has a steeper learning curve than other frameworks on this list, especially for beginners. Plus, Angular applications can be more resource intensive due to their complex architecture and two-way data binding. This can affect performance in certain cases. Adopting recent technologies and practices may also be slower for Angular than for newer frameworks. React Native is a framework for building native mobile applications for iOS and Android platforms using a single code base. It leverages the popular React library and enables developers to write mobile applications using JavaScript and React syntax. Popular apps built using React Native include Facebook, Discord, Skype, and WordPress Mobile. By utilizing a learn once, write anywhere approach, developers can reuse a significant portion of their code base across several platforms, hence saving development time and effort. Moreover, developers can speed up iteration and testing using React Native's hot reload feature, as it lets users get instant updates during the application development process. React Native provides a set of pre-built UI components that map to native mobile components, ensuring a consistent user experience. Plus, it uses native rendering components which support efficient rendering and smooth animations. As Facebook is one that maintains this framework, React Native benefits from an extensive community and ecosystem. Not to mention the wide range of third-party libraries, plugins, and tools enhance productivity and extend the capabilities of mobile applications. However, there are several things to consider before using React Native. 
First, regarding the user interface, you may be required to write platform-specific code or use custom native modules. Second, certain complex or resource-intensive features may perform better with native development. Third, React Native's ecosystem is still rapidly evolving. Staying up to date may require keeping track of all changes and updates. Next is another React-based framework designed specifically for SSR and SSG within React applications. SSR feature improves initial page load times and boosts SEO. On the other hand, SSG lets developers pre-render pages at build time and serve them as static files. That's why Next is highly beneficial for building web applications requiring efficient rendering and optimized front-end and back-end architecture performance. This framework offers file-based routing, where each file in the pages directory becomes a unique route. Plus, it has built-in support for API routes, letting developers create back-end functionality effortlessly. From the front-end side, Next provides automatic code splitting, allowing only the required code to be loaded, so it supports faster page rendering. It also has CSS and JS solutions for an easier component styling process. Just like mastering React Native, it's better to learn React concepts and syntax first to adapt the Next environment. Also, Next may not be the best fit for small projects that don't need server-side rendering or advanced features. Next initial setup and configuration process can be utilized further compared to simpler libraries or frameworks. Nuxt is a view-based framework that focuses on SSR and SSG to simplify the development of universal view applications. Though incorporating back-end functionality, Nux is primarily a front-end framework that excels at building dynamic and interactive web applications. Hence, it's not a standalone back-end framework. That said, the SSR and SSG usage makes Nux useful for building fast-loading and SEO-friendly web applications. Plus, it enables static HTML file generation at build time for improved performance and scalability. One of the notable benefits of Nux is the convention over configuration approach. Nuxt offers a built-in routing system that simplifies the creation of complex navigational structures. It also provides middleware functionality for handling authentication, data fetching, and other common tasks to streamline app development. Another strong point is the extensive plugin ecosystem, which provides a wide range of plugins and modules to streamline tasks, including handling APIs, managing state, and implementing server-side functionality. While providing a lot of out-of-the-box functionalities, customization beyond Nux conventions may require a deeper understanding of the framework. Its initial setup and configuration process can be more complex than the other frameworks. Svelte is a cutting-edge JavaScript framework with a unique approach to building user interfaces. Multiple large-scale companies including 1Password, Avast, and the New York Times use this framework to build web apps. Unlike traditional frameworks that run in the browser, Svelte compiles components into highly optimized, lightweight JavaScript code that results in fast and efficient applications. That explains why Svelte is useful for creating highly optimized web applications with minimal overhead. Also, compiling components during the build step in Svelte eliminates the need for a runtime framework within the final bundle. This approach leads to faster initial loading times and better runtime performance than other frameworks. Moreover, Svelte's reactive system enables efficient DOM updates by only updating the parts of the interface that have changed, resulting in smoother and more responsive user experiences. Svelte is a beginner-friendly JavaScript framework with a straightforward syntax that is easy to understand and use. With it, developers can write code directly in HTML-like syntax, so it's more intuitive to express the UI and behavior of components in a single file. Furthermore, Svelte promotes component reusability and modularity, letting developers easily build complex applications. Svelte also offers built-in state management and animation capabilities if there is a smaller need for external libraries. Svelte is relatively new compared to other frameworks, and its ecosystem can be less extensive. Moreover, finding specific solutions or resources requires additional work compared to more established frameworks. Gatsby, also well known as Gatsby.js, is an open source framework based on React, GraphQL, and Webpack. In other words, Gatsby allows developers to build a static website with React while sourcing data from a content management systems database or markdown files. Hence, it's easier to create dynamic and data-driven websites. Gatsby is useful for creating static sites that are highly optimized for speed and SEO. It leverages the concept of pre-rendering, where the HTML and CSS for each page are generated at build time, resulting in swift load times and improved search engine visibility. 
What's more, Gatsby also offers features like code splitting, lazy loading and image optimization to further performance enhancement. Gatsby's plugin ecosystem provides multiple integrations for popular CMS platforms and services allowing developers to leverage existing tools and workflows. However, it's important to know that Gatsby may not be the best fit for every type of project. Its focus on static site generation can be less suitable for highly dynamic web applications that require real-time updates or extensive server-side processing. Gatsby's build process can also be more resource-intensive, requiring more powerful hardware for optimal performance. Ember is a JavaScript framework for building large-scale web applications. Netflix, Apple, Microsoft, and LinkedIn are examples of companies applying this framework to their web apps. It follows the convention over configuration principle, providing developers with a structured environment to create scalable applications. One of the strongest points of Ember is its strong emphasis on convention and best practices. The framework applies a set of conventions and patterns to help developers maintain consistency across projects. This is beneficial for improving collaboration among team members and making it easier to onboard new developers. Ember also provides a wide range of built-in features such as data binding, routing and templating, which further simplifies the development process. Another notable strength of Ember is its focus on stability and long-term support. Ember's team prioritizes backward compatibility, ensuring simple to implement upgrades for applications built on previous versions of the framework. Hence, it is valuable for large enterprise projects requiring long-term maintenance and support. Ember also offers a powerful command line interface that automates many development tasks such as a project setup, code generation, and testing. That being said, one potential weakness of Ember is its learning curve. Due to its opinionated nature and extensive conventions, it can be harder for beginners to adapt to their environment. Also, while the Ember community is an active and supportive, it's smaller than more popular frameworks like React Native or Angular. Developers who prefer a more flexible or lightweight approach may find Ember less suitable for their needs. Fastify is a low overhead JavaScript framework for building efficient web applications and APIs. It is designed to ensure performance and scalability by leveraging JavaScript features and adopting an asynchronous, non-blocking architecture. Fastify is useful for projects that require high-performance web servers, microservices, or APIs. It excels in handling many requests with minimal overhead, making it a great choice for applications prioritizing speed. Thanks to Fastify's modular architecture, plugins can be selectively added to extend functionality without compromising performance. Furthermore, Fastify's extensive plugin ecosystem promotes code reusability and simplifies development. Other advanced features include async await, streams, and built-in caching mechanisms also help minimize response times and reduce memory consumption. Fastify provides powerful request validation and serialization capabilities to ensure data integrity and security. With Fastify, developers can leverage various community contribute plugins to add functionalities including authentication, logging, and database integration. Keep in mind that Fastify may not be the best choice for small projects that don't require high performance optimizations. Its focus on performance might introduce additional complexity compared to more lightweight frameworks. Additionally, while Fastify has gained popularity, its ecosystem might not be as vast as some other frameworks, requiring additional effort to find specific solutions or resources. Express is a versatile JavaScript framework for building web applications and APIs. It provides features and middleware that simplifies handling HTTP requests, routing, and managing server-side functionality. Express's tools are useful for creating small-scale and large-scale web applications. It offers a straightforward, fixed approach, allowing developers to structure their code and define routes to suit their project requirements. Express provides a wide range of middleware options for handling requests, parsing data, authentication, and error handling, enabling developers to add functionality as needed. What's more, it has a vast collection of middleware, plugins, and extensions to help developers enhance the capabilities of their applications. This JavaScript framework prides itself on simplicity and ease of use. Its minimalist design and intuitive API make it beginner-friendly and quick to get started with. Also, Express offers flexibility in technology choices as it integrates well with various databases, templating engines, and front-end frameworks. That being said, Express may require additional effort and decision-making for structuring and organizing code in larger projects. Some features commonly found in other frameworks aren't built into the Express framework, requiring developers to rely on additional libraries or custom solutions.
As there are many promising JavaScript frameworks to master, setting the right goals and the scale of the project you want to focus on can help you to sort out some of these options. If you found this video helpful and interesting, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy's YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.